all narcissists end up losing. They ghosted you, they discarded you, and they found someone else. They rode off into the sunset, and you were left broken and destroyed after they moved on to someone else. They demoted you. They moved you to a lower position, usually as a punishment, and they put someone else in your place. They replaced you, which caused you to experience overwhelming shock and grief after you have to witness them enjoying this new situation with their new supply. You saw them going on trips and they seemed to be happy and not thinking about you, which affected you, it brought you down, which is why you shouldn't look at what they're doing. It's why you need to stay off their social media, but if you've already seen it, it should wake you up. It should give you a reality check because they tricked you. They got you to open up to them. They got you hooked. They made you believe in a future with them as though everything was going to be fine. But then they ghosted you. They moved on. And then they didn't want to talk to you anymore. They changed completely, which left you in a state of confusion. It messed with your mind because you thought you had something, but then you discovered that they didn't even care. They weren't even concerned about you. Because when a narcissist decides to rip off their mask and show you who they really are, it's not a pleasant thing to see because they don't show any compassion for you. Instead, their sole intention is to punish and harm you, to make you feel like you never meant anything to them. Despite all of the time you spent together and everything you invested in them, you're left feeling like you never even knew them. And that is what shocks and overwhelms you. Especially when you see them with someone else and they're laughing and smiling, they're enjoying themselves, they're having a good time. And that is where many of you find my videos because you don't understand how they could do something like that. But now you have the knowledge and understanding, you're beginning to learn about what happened to you because before you found my videos, it didn't make any sense. But what you need to understand is that they have relationships with more than one person at a time, so you were never exclusive because you were never number one. You were never the only person who mattered to them. They always had other people on the side who they were entertaining. But you were given the illusion of monogamy as though you were the only person they loved and cared about, but they were just playing games with you. They were cheating you and playing you for a fool. Because they're never dealing with just one person at a time. You were one of many people who are being given the same treatment at the same time. They were never exclusive to you. They just knew what to say to make you feel like it was just you and them because you spent so much time with them. You spent hours talking to each other but then they ghosted you because they were busy working on their next victim 
and then they came back to you again because they needed to ensure that you were still longing and yearning for them Because after all of the love and attention they initially gave to you, they know you're still going to be waiting for them. You're not just going to forget about them and move on. You're going to hold on to them. Because you can't accept that it's over. You thought this was just the beginning. But you weren't the only one that they were doing it to. You thought you could have had something with them. You thought there was so much potential for growth and development in the future. But there wasn't. Because you are never exclusive to a narcissist. You are never the only one. So you never had a relationship. You never had something special. You thought you had something because of what they were displaying to you, but you were never theirs, which is how they moved on to another situation. And they probably already had that person lined up before they even left you. And they were giving them the same treatment that they had given to you. They were never exclusive to you. They're not exclusive to anyone but themselves and what they want. And once they've moved on to this new person, it's all over. Unless you're still waiting for them because you're hooked. Because you're hoping there's still a chance that they could be exclusive to you. Because you think that no one else can make you feel the way that they do. You think you've lost something. But the only thing you've lost is the validation. Their ability to control how you feel. When true happiness is generated from within. You should be able to make yourself feel that way on your own. Because that was a vulnerability that the narcissist noticed in you. And they were able to take advantage of that and use it to control you. All narcissists end up losing. They didn't win because you never had anything anyway. You never had them. But many of you feel like they've won. Many of you feel like you've lost. Because you don't want to let go of something you thought belonged to you. You thought you lost something. But how could you have anything if they were never exclusive to you? If they were entertaining other people from the very beginning? They just knew how to get you hooked. And because they were never really invested in you, it was easy for them to shut you down. But they didn't get away with what they did to you. They don't just move on and continue to advance without you. They all go down in the end. They are miserable people. They're never happy with anything. And they always end up being unsuccessful in achieving their goals because they're very neglectful. They don't give the proper care and attention to things that should be considered valuable and important. So their lack of care and interest for you 
should reveal to you how things are going to turn out for them. Because their own attitude, behavior, and characteristics ends up coming back to haunt them. It comes back to get them in the end. Because they end up suffering. How a person treats you is a direct reflection of how they feel about themselves. So if they don't have any concern for you, it's because deep down they don't value or love themselves. But eventually they over exaggerate their performance. They end up doing things they said they would never do. They become the very thing they hate. And then their lies are exposed. And they reach a point where they're unable to continue or achieve anymore. They might experience short term success. But it won't last for long. Because nothing good can sustain itself in that type of environment. Just like a seed needs sunshine and water to grow. Nothing good can develop in an environment where there is no love or happiness. Which is why narcissists do not continue to succeed or do well. They all go down eventually. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.